Altrincham have started very brightly. Come, um, most of the game so far, the ball has been in the uh, Dorking half, and and I've got I've got high hopes for this game. Conclart chested on, nice flick on by uh, Liddy onto Conclart, left foot pulls it down. Oh, that's a yeah, he just caught his uh, caught his heel, the trailing uh, leg there. Lovely play by Altrincham. It's a goal! It's a goal! It's a the free it's kick's been taken quickly. Conclart to Linney, and Linney has buried it into the bottom corner. And there's mayhem going on all there. Dorking clearly unhappy with all of that. But the referee appears to have given the goal. There's a player down, and it's an Altrincham player. He, he looked like he might have been trod on. Is it um, Isaac Marriott? It could well be Isaac. I'm looking for uh, other people who could be Isaac. But so we we saw the the foul. We, we saw a move where the ball was played three times, effectively with back heels. Conclart was brought down on the edge of the area. We very quickly took the free kick. It was played into the box and fired into the bottom corner. Actually, whilst it's a good, it is a pleasant evening. It's it's a bit murky out there, isn't it? It is, and uh, the the length of the talking to there made me think that this would be the outcome. I didn't see a yellow card. So talking, uh, responding positively, kept the tempo going. Miss Briggs. It's inside. It's a good ball. Carter's onto it. Danger here for Altrincham. That's close. It's a really good block. But there, the second one bounces into the chest of Jay Cooper, who stood his ground. But two great opportunities for uh, Dorking there. Ball still not uh, cleared. Eventually, the referee, the assistant uh, referee, puts his uh, flag up. But. Uh, couple of great opportunities there and a really good ball pulled back by uh, Charlie Carter lovely ball in yes yeah, a very very good move there both chances were good one of the, uh, uh, the second one I think was stopped by uh, Matt Gould's anatomy rather than by Jake Cooper and neither penalty on Saturday was a penalty and uh, it turned out that both of them were so um, I might not be the best summariser to have next to you Brian I apologize if I drag your standard down this evening you may well be right that good turn by uh, Linney he's away edge of the area pulls it back come uh, Newby it's oh, oh, oh. oh, makes it 2-0 that is superb stuff from uh, Altrincham great move with uh, Regan Linney opening up the Dorking defence slipping it through to Alex Newby and Newby a simple ball across the six yard box and there was Matty Cosolo to side foot into the empty net which makes it Altrincham uh, 2, Dorking uh, Wanderers 0 uh, and we've got to 11 minutes uh, played here at the J Davidson Stadium. And a booking for Joe Cook there because he absolutely took um, Newby out as Newby played the ball across to Cosilo uh, and that if, if somehow we hadn't have scored that would have ended up with a penalty to us and at one point I thought the referee might have given that penalty but uh, the ref's done a good job so far in allowing the game to flow. And Alti have got two goals from uh, perhaps movements where uh, other referees might have stopped the game or not allowed the free kick to be taken. But it's 2-0 to Altrincham, and uh, that's a nice place for us to be in. And let's pay tribute to Regan Linney. He scored the first with a magnificent uh, strike from a quickly taken free kick from Chris Con clark Biggs. Opportunity here for Taylor. He's looking for a shot. He's going to pull it across. He does. It's a really good clearance. Comes out to Pibus. In comes the shot. It's a great headed uh, clearance by Lewis Baines. Magnificent piece of defending. Altium battling for their lives here as uh, Dorking begin to turn the screw. In comes the cross. There's the header, and it's just uh, it's just wide. <laughs> really good uh, cross. Very Give good attacking play there. Um, again, the quality of the header from the cross coming in was not great, but there's no doubt they're beginning to create chances now. 
and uh, beginning to put us under the cosh. Ecosi in, in the past few games has shown a lot more than uh, perhaps in the previous 10 or so. He's um, done a good job of uh, demonstrating why he's an important part of this squad. Oh, there's, there's trouble here. Oh, Cosolo. I think Matty Cosolo is going to get a red card here. Oh, there's, there's a big, big uh, frack out here. There's a dorking player down on the floor. And Matty Coslow is certainly the centre of attention. Referee. He's, I he's, think, is yeah, he walking off or is he just going to talk to the linesman? I thought he was going to go and talk to the, his assistant, which I think he is going to do now. But it, it's rather strange behaviour, actually. He, he, he headed in that direction, then stopped and had a look around. And, and now he is going to talk to his uh, assistant over on that far side. I fear the worst here because, one, we had a Dorking player down. And then, literally seconds later, we had Matty squaring up to another Dorking player. So there's possibly two opportunities for him to have got sent off here. And Regan Linney's been sent off. And is that Fosolo as well? Well, he showed two red cards there, didn't he? That is a huge blow to Altrium not only in terms of this evening's game but uh, that probably is a three-match suspension Hollis finds Craig it's Pybus he likes to come deep to pick the ball up as well Bobby Joe Taylor's had an impact since uh, being introduced early by Mark White The uh, double substitution, which uh, saw Tony Craig appear as well. Here comes the uh, deep cross, headed on, cleared. Air shot, there's a chance, it's hit the crossbar. Looked like it might have been heading uh, in from Josh uh, Taylor, but it's hit uh, the uh, crossbar. And how important uh, could that be? Uh, B. It was a dangerous uh, cross, half cleared by Altrin, an air shot by uh, Charlie Carter, fell to Josh Taylor, he's had a good game and he's hit it, good strike, hit it well enough but uh, it's bounced off the face of the uh, crossbar and a let off for the Robins and uh, Dorking, that would have been the perfect start to the second half. Uh, Bobby Joe Taylor. Here's Taylor, who was thwarted a moment ago and hit the crossbar. He's got to the byline, pulls it back. Great, terrific challenge from Matty uh, Cosolo. There's a bit of bundling going on and there's another fracas. This game is really, really feisty and lively. You wouldn't be surprised if we haven't seen the end of the red cards. There's a number of players who are on uh, bookings. And Mr Massey Ellis has uh, a bit to sort out here. Not for the first time this evening. In comes the heads. It's bounced off a couple of Altium players. There was definitely a push in there. It's into the uh, side netting. The Dorking uh, fans thought it was a goal. So this is a really fascinating game, but it looks like it's going to be a really tough uh, half for uh, for Altrincham <laughs> Taylor's everywhere in the second half and just doing well but uh, Fuller regains the ball Hollis flicks it on Pibus Carter That's a penalty. penalty. That is a penalty. Bit soft. Eddie Jones. But, but a penalty nonetheless. Yeah, Eddie Jones has uh, 
ball down I think it was Josh Taylor here comes Blair and it's a, a really it's well a very, executed very penalty. Uh, penalty right in the top corner uh, there was no doubt about where that was going Two one, a long way to go. Yeah, we're about to see the introduction of uh, Jimmy Mewitt, who uh, played a, quite a big part in uh, Dorking's uh, recovery last season when they were losing two nil and re came back to uh, three two. Osborne, Newby. He's done well there, Alex Newby, but uh, ultimately Bobby Joe Taylor's uh, won the ball off him. There's Carter. Mewitt. Briggs. Taylor. Bobby Joe Taylor. Decent shot. Oh, that's a magnificent uh, shot. And actually, a really good uh, dive by uh, Matt Gould. It's hit the uh, crossbar and gone over. But what a goal that would have been as the two Taylors uh, combined. And it was Bobby Joe, a thunderous left foot uh, shot. Bounced off the top of uh, the uh, crossbar. It really was a, a valiant effort by uh, Matt Gould. who did really well to get anywhere near it. Pybus sweeps it out wide. Here's Mewitt looking to get the cross in. Tricky customer. Always plays it to Briggs. Deep cross, up the other heads. And that's a good save by Matt Gould. And a an second uh, block. Brilliant block by uh, Jake uh, Cooper. The header came in. It was a good cross from Briggs from the uh, right. The header came in, first of all, uh, Gould, and then um, Jake Cooper. It's a good header by uh, Sam Roscoe. And Wilson's done well there. Wilson has a shot. It's a great shot. It's a good save by Mail. It was moving in uh, the air, but full credit there to uh, George Wins Wilson. Inspirational effort. Yes, it curved away from the keeper at the last moment. The keeper did very, very well to keep it out and then to recover the ball as Marriott was closing it on him. But George Wilson did very, very well indeed there. Just the signs of a, just a slight element of desperation now in the, in the Dorking uh, play as time begins to run out like fine white sand. Of which there's plenty on the pitch. Absolutely. I fed you the line there, Bill. Thank you, thank you. Brian. In comes the uh, corner. And it's uh, a header only as far as Pybus. Shot comes in. Oh, it's wide. just wide. Really good strike by Dan Pybus. And uh, Matt Gould got down really, really well. I think he might have got there if it had been just inside the post. But it's whistled past his left-hand uh, post. But uh, a terrific uh, strike. 23 <laughs> added seconds remaining. As a minimum. The ball's headed on. Oh, the shot bounces, it's got a deflection, it's a corner. corner. And now Mail is coming up. Yeah, Mail is coming up because we're going into the seventh minute. We're just going now into the seventh minute of added uh, time. So potentially just seconds to go. Right footed out swinger, corner, in it comes. Bobby Joe Taylor, uh, Pybus rather, headed on. And that's over the bar by Mewitt. He's really frustrated. There it goes! The final whistle! That is magnificent! Altingham Football Club 2, Talking Wonders Football Club 1. That is an heroic uh, performance in the second half. Cheered on by the vast majority of the crowd of 2005. Dorking have played their part, they've dominated play, they've had almost total possession, almost total territory, but Altium have defended superbly and they've kept it going right to the end. 